aren't these the most adorable baby birds that you have ever seen? They are so cute! And they're just a few days old. As you can see, their eyes are still closed. I just love looking at them. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to attract birds and their buddies to your garden and backyard. This is also going to include chipmunk and squirrel. As you can see, they get along pretty fairly well together. And this little guy right here, he is enjoying some food. And he comes quite a few times each day. And it's really just about making them feel very comfortable so that they will keep coming. Now, if you do like gardening, flowers, and nature, as I do, I do hope that you will hit the subscribe button and tap the notification bell so that you can see future gardening topics that I'll be looking at, as well as any tips that I have gained from my experience. So I definitely hope that you will do that. Now, as the saying goes, if you feed them, they will come. So here you'll see I have a mixture of seeds and that's my little measuring can right there that I use. And it has like sunflower seeds, it has some nuts in there, some dried fruit and so on. And this is actually my hummingbird feeder. And I have another video which I'm going to link at the end, which shows you how to make that from sugar and water only. And it definitely works. I've had that happen for years where they keep coming back to the homemade mixture that I made. So definitely check that out. Or you can even just plant flowers that they like. I also have a video on that as well. So here you can see we have a little scroll and he's going along and he's working his way through the seeds that fell off from the feeder. Sometimes he'll actually climb up and he'll shake them out and just go down there and enjoy what he wants. Or sometimes whatever may have been left over from someone that was there previously, another animal, then he'll just go in and search and see what he can find. I think at this point he probably thinks that I'm watching him, so I think he's about to take off. But he will definitely be back, because he always comes, time and time again. He feels very comfortable. As you can see, there's a little wind going out there, but they're still good. Now as far as watering goes, you will definitely want to make sure that you're providing water for them. This is key, especially in the hot months of summer. And you'll see them like splashing in the water, you know, having a nice bath. But the main thing, thing to bear in mind is that you want to make sure that their water is clean. So try to change it at least every other day, if not every day. Because if the water is not clean, then they're not going to go into it. They'll just pretty much ignore it and try to get their water source from somewhere else. Bird houses are good. This one is a little homemade one that one of my kids made. But truly, they really love like little gardens and little areas where they can hang out. And it's also helpful too if you can provide like, you know, a little straw, little things like that for them. You may have like a hanging basket that you're not using anymore that's lined with a cocoa lining. You can hang that off in a private corner somewhere. Just make sure it's not touching a fence or touching a wall where any predators can climb up and get to their babies because they're always thinking about that. And of course, it also attracts birds like hummingbirds that like those types of flowers. As you can see here, our little bird is having a good time up there. And I really hope today that these pointers that I gave will help you. It's really about having them be comfortable as well as yourself. I do thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll have a wonderful day.